There are various reasons why people can struggle to move on from a relationship, either struggling to grieve the loss of the relationship, of what they thought it was going to be, or still caring about the other person, even though they treated them horrifically, even though the other person treated them horrifically. When it comes to narcissistic individuals, they're no different. They can struggle to move on past a relationship for several reasons due to their psychological makeup and needs. However, when it comes to most things with a narcissist, these are self-serving needs. So a narcissist can struggle to move on because of their need of control. Narcissists have a strong desire to control those around them. Letting go of past relationships means relinquishing that control, which is something that narcissistic individuals find incredibly difficult to do, which is why they might just linger in the background so that they can try and regain control over you. Supply dependency. Narcissistic individuals rely on that narcissistic supply. They need that constant attention, admiration and validation from external sources. If they don't have a sufficient source of new supply, they might keep going back to old supply to fulfil this need. Narcissistic people don't tend to cut people off and fully disengage. They tend to return as and when they find a need. Often the final discard comes from you when you begin to recognise the pattern of behaviour and make a conscious effort to change it, even though it can be incredibly difficult to cut a narcissistic individual out of your life. Ego and validation. A narcissist's self-esteem is very fragile and heavily dependent on that external validation. Someone who wants to Applied them with that validation can be incredibly difficult to forget. As the narcissist's ego continues to seek reassurance, they might seek it from old supplies. Fear of abandonment, despite their outward confidence, which is usually their arrogance, narcissists have deep-seated, deep-rooted fears. And those fears of abandonment and rejection means that they can hold on to past relationships as a way of avoiding the painful or the painful reality of being left behind. When someone does go no contact with them, they can cling on, they can start playing so many different mind games to regain control of the situation. They can come with the hoover and start acting nice or they can even start smearing your name just to get one over on you. Those unresolved grievances. We're all capable of holding a grudge. However, more often than not, when someone has lied to you, deceived you, betrayed you, cheated on you, that grudge is warranted. With a narcissist, they simply just didn't get their own way and they become offended because they didn't seem to graduate past toddlerhood. They stay trapped in that sort of sense of entitlement and it's all about me. Narcissists often harbour grudges against others for the very things that the narcissist did to those other people. There's so many unresolved issues because a narcissist is unwilling to communicate things that they actually bring on themselves, yet they don't self-reflect, so they blame other people. Their inability to move on can stem from desire to settle the perceived injustice, injustices or wrongdoings. They believe that the other person has it out for them. It makes them feel special that, oh, they're envious of me. They want to get one over on me, even though they were the one that lied and cheated on the person that the narcissist is holding a grudge against. Inability to self-reflect. Narcissistic people typically lack the ability to self-reflect and to take responsibility for their own behaviour. They simply just shift the blame and as they shifted the blame, they genuinely believe that you're the issue, you're the reason for their mistakes. If a narcissist cheats on you, they'll claim it's because you weren't paying them enough attention and they believe that you're the issue, not their infidelity or that the other person just simply would not leave them alone. So what else was they supposed to do? Because saying no is in their DNA, but they don't like to admit that if it's going to make them look bad. With a narcissist's lack of self-awareness, this prevents them from learning from past relationships, learning from past mistakes. We all make them. It's 
the lesson in them that helps us move forward in a healthier manner, the desire for revenge. Now again, when someone has lied to you, cheated on you, deceived you, manipulated you, it's normal to bring up those feelings of anger and resentment and wanting to seek justice. With a narcissistic individual, they hold on to past relationships out of a desire for revenge. How dare you walk away from them? How dare you say no to them? How dare you not perceive them as the best thing since sliced bread? How dare you not want to spend your time around them? They feel the need to win and to win at all costs to you. They lack the empathy to care. The sadistic narcissist wants to see you suffer which keeps the narcissist emotionally entangled long after the relationship has ended. These factors contribute to the narcissist's inability to truly let go and move past relationships, keeping them emotionally and mentally stuck. And due to their lack of introspect, they, they stay in this place. Most people leaving a narcissistic relationship can be dependent on the narcissist for validation, can fear that abandonment, can hold a grudge, can have that strong desire for revenge. However, as they're willing to self-reflect and they have the ability to question so many things, genuine people are able to move past this. They might get a time frame where they're stuck in it, but they are able to move past this. Narcissistic individuals, due to who they are, stay trapped. And they just move on from one supply to another supply to another supply, never evolving, just staying stuck with who they are and blaming everybody from their past. 